the Formula Lights FL15. It is a technical marvel that combines raw power, featherweight carbon fiber, and most importantly of all, a well-designed body that generates an aerodynamic force known as downforce, pushing the car into the ground, creating more high-speed stability. How does this black magic work? To find out, we have to go to something a little more expensive. Airplanes. We've all wondered when we were children how these massive metal birds could soar across the sky without falling to ground like the rest of us. The simple answer is science, more specifically aerodynamics. Here's an example of a plane's wing or aerofoil in a 2D simulation of a wind tunnel. There are two methods of explaining aerodynamics and how lift is produced. The first, by Isaac Newton, says that the aerofoil creates the force of lift because it curves the airflow around it downward, which results in an equal and opposite reaction force that pushes against the wing upwards. The other, by Bernoulli, gives an equation of static pressure plus air density times velocity squared equals total pressure. This is known as Bernoulli's equation used alongside the continuity equation, which is pressure times cross-sectional area of flow times velocity. In an aerofoil design, the upper surface area is larger than the lower, and this leads to a lower cross-sectional area of flow above the wing because it has more area to spread around than below the wing. Pressure in this case is the initial air pressure before reaching the aerofoil, so it's the same for both above and below. If the cross-sectional area of flow above the wing is lower than below the wing and pressure is the same, the air above the wing must have a higher velocity. Still with me? Less area, same pressure, so velocity must be higher. Good. Now to Bernoulli's equation. We know the velocity for the above part is higher and the total pressure is the same for both. This means that for the two to be equal, the lower must have a higher pressure than above. Now, we have a lower air pressure above the wing in blue and higher air pressure below in red. The difference in air pressure results in an aerodynamic force of lift. Of course, both theories are correct. But to summarize, Newton's way says airflow is curved downwards, so the wing is pushed upwards by the reaction force. Bernoulli finds that the upper region of the wing has a higher velocity of airflow, therefore lower pressure, and the change in pressure above and below the wing makes lift. Done with theories? Let's move on to the fun part. Now, let's talk about the Formula Lights car's most powerful weapon, its downforce. Unlike planes, race cars are meant to be kept on the ground, or else... Here we go. Oh my god, oh my god, the Mercedes has taken off... To prevent such scenes from happening, and also just to become even faster, the FO15 utilizes several aerodynamic features, most notably the wing and the Venturi tunnels. These race wings are, in essence, just airplane wings flipped over. This way, instead of generating lift, it creates, wait for it, downforce. Much like planes, the faster the cars are, the more downforce they will make. The angle of attack of a wing is also adjustable, meaning we drivers can request exactly how much wing we want. On most Formula cars, there are wings on both the front and the back of the car to give it more balanced distribution of downforce and better handling. There's also the Venturi tunnel located below the side pods of the car and extend out below the rear wing. These tunnels work by first creating a constriction between the flat underbody and the ground before expanding from that constriction to create a massive area of low pressure. In essence, it's creating a vacuum underneath the car, making even more downforce. Together, these two features work in harmony to create a balanced handling characteristic as well as giving the car an incredible ability to corner at high speeds. Now, to show just how well these aero features work, we will put the Formula Lights car against a more rudimentary open wheel race car with almost no downforce inducing features. Now these cars are different since the Alpha 15 has more power as well as grippier tires but the entry level racer is lighter. We will be focusing on high-speed corners, where downforce matters the most. Take a look.
So, there you have it. After just 5 high speed corners, the Formula Lights FL15 was able to gain a total of 11 seconds against its opponent on the same track. A century in race car terms. Air may seem invisible and untouchable, but in truth, those who can use it to their benefits will be the most powerful of all. <laughs>